Hey everyone, my name's Jake and I wanted to show you some of the new improvements and features in Avid Pro Tools 2023.3. There's a lot of exciting content and features available for users of Pro Tools Artist, Studio, and Ultimate. Like the new sample-based virtual instrument Play Cell, as well as the new Sonic Drop monthly content program. We're going to talk about a lot of the new additions, check some of them out, and compare performance for the Apple Silicon version of Pro Tools. The first and biggest new feature to discuss is native support for Apple Silicon machines. Pro Tools for M1 and M2 processors will now open natively without using Apple's Rosetta translation layer, which comes with some pros and cons. If you want, you can change this default behavior by right-clicking Pro Tools in your Applications folder and hit Get Info. You'll see a checkbox to set how you'd like to run Pro Tools. Avid is reporting incredible performance improvements for this new version running on Apple Silicon. Everything is quicker and more efficient, from launching Pro Tools faster and plug-in CPU usage, to faster AAF importing and offline bounces. If your workflow involves large, complex sessions with many tracks, you may want to start looking at an Apple Silicon product if you haven't already. However, the downside currently is that Pro Tools for Apple Silicon will only open native compatible versions of your plugins. As you can see by this before and after photo of available plugins when opening Pro Tools with and without Rosetta, I lost a lot of access to plugins here due to compatibility. I did find a few more plugins that I needed to update, but many plugins I commonly use weren't available. Luckily, all plugins that are bundled with Pro Tools except for structure-free work with the Apple Silicon version, as well as other companies' offerings like FabFilter, Waves, and Universal Audio. Avid does have a compatibility page to check out, which I'll include a link for in the description, so you can see which of the plugins you own have Apple Silicon AAX versions available. I did a quick test comparing session performance between the Rosetta and native versions of Pro Tools on my M1 Max 16-inch MacBook Pro using FabFilter plugins. I won't go too far into detail as there were too many variables for accurate measurement, but my test involved placing 8 FabFilter plugins on 3 tracks, no oversampling, all playing back different audio simultaneously. I also included some other inserts on my master track and tested with and without the compatible plugins active. I definitely noticed more stable and efficient numbers across my CPU cores in the system usage window when running natively. My playback peaked at around 31 or 32% CPU usage using Rosetta and around 23% when running natively. I also noticed when stopping playback, CPU usage would linger and drop slowly on Rosetta while the native version would quickly return to 0 or 1% usage almost immediately. Launching the application and offline bouncing with lots of plugins was also significantly faster. Depending on your workflow and Pro Tools, the native silicon build could be a huge game changer, but this is only the first new feature. The 2023.3 release also includes PlaySell, a new sample-based virtual instrument that brings a large collection of sounds and instruments into a streamlined interface. You can try it out by creating a new virtual instrument preset or an instrument track. You'll start out with a simple sine wave, but up in the preset selector, we can choose from a huge array of sounds that we can further customize with these large control knobs that change depending on the instrument. These options are part of the palette series of presets, but Avid will be adding more sounds monthly through their Sonic Drop content program. Sonic Drop has already released some great content to start out, and we'll be releasing more samples, loops, and virtual instrument presets over time. Speaking of presets, Avid has also added 17 new Groove Cell kits and 30 new Synth Cell presets, giving us even more new sounds to play with. Avid updated their XForm plugin with native Apple Silicon support, but more importantly, they've added a completely new Elastic Audio algorithm. Elastic is one of the most used time-stretching and pitch-shifting algorithms on the market, developed by Z-Plane. Elastic Pro is a complete solution that provides all time-stretching and pitch-shifting engines by Z-Plane in one interface. The Elastic Pro mode is perfect for professional-grade time-stretching and pitch-shifting that maintains voice intelligibility at the highest level without introducing artifacts. There are a lot more amazing technologies and features to explore with Elastic, which we may do in a future video. 
There are a lot more new features and improvements like new bounce options and enhanced quantized controls and toolbars, but the most exciting things here are the performance improvements in the first native version of Pro Tools for Apple Silicon. Hopefully more manufacturers will continue to update even older plugins to give Pro Tools users the best of both worlds. Let me know in the comments which features you'd like to see in the next release of Pro Tools. Please subscribe to JP Audio and stay tuned to see more audio how-tos, demos, and reviews. Thanks for watching and happy recording.